Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a subscription box unboxing and this is this is new. <laughs> this is something a little different that I haven't done before, so we're we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do different unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum and organizational ideas, and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this unboxing. Okay, so today I have a few subscription boxes that we get. Some of them we use for homeschool, some are just for mom because moms need stuff too, or something to look forward to every month, especially when you're going 100 miles an hour with all your kids at home. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we get. And I don't know if I'm gonna do this every month. I don't really get a whole lot of different subscription boxes than the ones I'm showing you, like quarterly ones or anything like that. So if you would like to see them every month, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I could do it every month or at least every other month just to kind of let you see the different things that we like to use. I have paid for all of these boxes myself. None of them are sponsored, but I do have a few codes that I will link down below. I might put a few of them up on the screen kind of depending on how long they are or whatnot. And so I might put them up on the screen, but I'll make sure everything's linked down below. So if you're interested in using those codes, then you can, you can go ahead and use them. They're free to all to use. Okay, so the first box that I wanna show you is the Holiday Street Co. box. And I saw this box on Rooted and Rest, and I just thought, like, it looked like a lot of fun. And it's for me, it's not for my kids, it's not like a homeschool thing. This is a home decor box. So I guess, you know, it is sort of for your family too because you're decorating and making your house cute. And this is the Thanksgiving box, and I thought it was really cute down here. They personalized it. It says, Happy Thanksgiving, Jacqueline and family. And so I thought that was adorable. And I do have a code that you guys can use. I don't make any money off the code, but it is 10% off if you use Paulson10. And I'll put, again, put that down below or flash it on the screen since my last name is a little bit tricky to spell. So you can use that for 10% off your first box when you subscribe. So this box comes every single month. It's $49.99 per month. I have my computer here so I can remember everything to tell you guys. And it is all about holidays. They send a whole bunch of stuff for the holidays and it's usually about a month before the holiday so you have time to put it up and decorate with it. And so I think for the Christmas box, you have to have subscribed by November 15th or about around that time if you want to get their Christmas box. Otherwise, you'd have to wait until their January box comes out. So it's great because you take a survey, they kind of look at your different preferences because they have different options. So it's sort of customizable. It's not completely because you're not picking specific items, but you're telling them styles and colors that you like. And then every single month they also let you pick if you prefer just one of the holidays in that month. So for example, like fall versus Halloween, if you don't want any Halloween decorations, you can say just fall, or you can say just Halloween, or you can get a combination of both, or like Easter versus spring, I think it was. You can pick just Easter, or you can pick spring or both. And so you get to kind of pick and choose, and their Instagram, they put up a whole bunch of pictures of different items that could be included. So it's fun to follow them on Instagram because you get to see all the cute things that they post. So I just, I really like that fact that it's customizable. So if you have different styles, then they try to cater to those things. And then they also include stuff for your kids, like a cute little coloring page. That's what I've seen in the Rooted and Rest ones. So I'm just excited to open this up and see what they sent me this month. So let's open it. <laughs> let's, let's open it. I got it a few days ago and I've been so excited, but I was waiting for some other boxes to show up. So, so here we are, here we are unboxing it now. So they wrote a cute little note right here. And I just love that. It smells good, guys. It smells delicious. So they have the little sticker there. So we're gonna open this up and then see what we have inside. Ooh, it's so exciting, guys. It's so exciting. Okay, so they have these cute little cards and it has, I just love how it's decorated, guys. It's so cute and it smells good. It smells really nice. So this looks like something you could do at Thanksgiving. This is a cute idea. It has some table talk ideas right here. It has a recipe for some apple cobbler, so you can make that. 
So this card right here, I remember Rooted and Rest talking about it. I think if you get six boxes, then they'll give you a free like higher priced item. I don't know if it's in your sixth box or your seventh box, I'd have to read through this. So I thought that was a cool little thing if you're subscribed to them and continuing to get their boxes, there is an advantage to doing that. So the first thing we have in here, smells like cinnamon, it's so good. And I think you can put this under your seat, in your car, you can put it in a drawer, like in your dresser maybe, or I, it gives some different op options, like in your vacuum bag, or maybe in your purse, if you wanted your purse to smell good. But it smells really, really good and make your house smell like fall. So I really love that. And then we have these cute little pumpkins. So online, they also let you tell what your favorite item they posted on Instagram is. And so this is one of the ones that I like the most. Online it looked wooden, but it's actually fabric and I'm totally fine with that. Sorry, I'm just, it's covered in all these little, these little things, whatever these are. So I'm taking them off and I think it's super cute. So it's this orange pumpkin and it's fabric kind of, I guess. But I just love this and I, I think it's just a fun little decor piece and you can use it for all of fall. So next year I can put it up at the beginning of September and have it decorate for all of fall because I'm not a huge Halloween decor person. It's just not my favorite thing. So, oh, here's the wooden pumpkin. These are the ones I like. So this one's made out of fabric, but then this one is like a wooden ceramic type pumpkin. So this is really cute. I loved how it has the little edges, like you've used a knife and whittled away or carved it out. And so that one's cute. I feel like these are cute together. I like the different textures and colors going on there. And then we also have this cute little candle. It looks so adorable. I like the little holder and it says gilded leaves. So that's, that's exciting. It smells good. Like it smells like outside, but kind of sweet. <laughs> I'm not used to doing these kind of unboxings. So this is, I'm like, how do you even describe this smell? But it smells good. <laughs> and then we have, this cute little towel. Again, they're all like covered in these little pieces right here. So I'm trying to take them all off. And something you could do, since this is a homeschool channel, keep these. Guys, these are so good to use for homeschool stuff. You can use them. We made little pumpkins and my kids sewed the outsides and you can stuff them with this like crinkly paper. You can get it for this paper really cheap at uh, the dollar store that's what it's called but if they're gonna send it to me i i keep it for my boxes because you can use it for a bunch of different homeschool activities so i think this seems like it's a washcloth maybe size it seems kind of small for a bigger towel let me see so yeah it's like a little washcloth but it has these cute little pumpkins on it right here so i like that that's a fun thing and then oh okay, yes so here's the coloring pages for my kiddos right there. So it has their names on it. So you can put their names online when you register or subscribe to the box, some stickers, and then they can, they'll ask you if you want them to send something for your kids as well. So these are cardstock, so pretty heavy duty. And then they just have coloring pages. So they're the same, but they have four coloring pages that they could, they could have for Thanksgiving. If anybody is doing anything for Thanksgiving this year, and then this sign is super cute. I love this color. I think it's so perfect because I put more of a farm style, farmhouse style on my survey that I filled out. And I feel like all this stuff is kind of following that idea or that theme. So this is really cute and you can have it just set up on your little display or whatever that is. So that is what is in this box. And I think it was great. I was really, really excited to get this. I don't know how long I'm gonna get it for. I am very picky about where I spend my money and for how long I spend my money, but I am excited just to see what they give over the next several months and I love getting stuff to decorate my house, especially if it fits my style. So I am excited to keep getting their box and to get the Christmas one because this is like my favorite time of year. So I keep saying so, I keep repeating myself. It's been a weird day and I'm having a hard time speaking right now, but 
I like this box. So remember to look for all the information below and let's move on to the next box. Okay, so the next box is the Let's Make Art box. And this is the kids only one. They put it up there nice and big for you to see. But they also have one that's just a watercolor one for teenagers or older, you know, people that are a little bit more experienced in watercolor, but then they have a journaling one as well. So I don't know what all those entail. My mother-in-law actually had the older version that she brought and my kids were able to just do some of the art. So the way that it works is they have some different videos on YouTube, they'll send you all the links to it when you get the box every single month and then you're able to just go and watch the videos. They kind of walk you through it. They're a little quirky and funny <laughs> and the kids, the kids enjoy watching it and they just go through step by step. You can pause it or your kids could watch the whole thing and then go back and do the art. So however you wanna do it. So I think the videos are wonderful that they send and very, very helpful. But this box is $35 because I subscribe to get it every single month. And this is actually only our second month getting it. But if you just want a one-time box, and there's tons of art activities in here. So you could just do one time and that's $45. Again, good gift option for Christmas if you wanted to do that, or you have kids that like art or grandkids that like art or whatever. So I got this box specifically for my seven-year-old daughter because she really, really loves art. And so she's been working on these different activities. We actually haven't finished using the other one. We still have a lot of crafts in there. So again, if you wanted to just get a box occasionally, when you run out of art projects, you could do that and save some money. And I feel like that would be a good idea. But I just wanted to show you what's in this box because I feel like it's a really good homeschooling box and it is taped together very well. So <laughs> let's make sure, let's get all the tape here. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like in here. And it says inspired by famous artists. So, and it says oil pastel projects right here. So this looks like fun. I don't think our last, oh, I think it did have a book. I'm trying to remember. It was just on the bottom. So it's kind of confusing me. So the last one had a lot of watercolor stuff. So this one looks like it's a little bit different. So that's a fun thing too. It's a variety of art. It's not just the, like, it's not just watercolor. You could just do watercolor stuff if you wanted to get the older, version of the box. <laughs> Every time I say older version, it just sounds weird. But anyway, so it comes in, there's this little packet in here and it has a whole bunch of things. This is like the littlest canvas I have ever seen. Look at how cute that is. So there might be one little watercolor in here. I'm not exactly sure what else that is, but, and then there's some different crayon. I don't know if these are supposed to be chalks maybe, cause it looks like, you know, we're doing some pastel-y chalk type stuff. And then there's, <laughs> these are so cute. These like little easel things, <laughs> those are cute. So those are in there as well. So there's a lot of cute little fun things. And again, they have so many art projects just with one box. So if you have multiple kids, you could do tons. You know, you, there's plenty for all your kids. And if you have some extra like watercolor paper, paper, they could also do a whole bunch of the watercolor stuff as well. And then this is some scratch art. So this looks a lot of fun. It says DIY. So I bet they're gonna make it themselves. So it looks like there's some black paint here. And then I don't know what this one is. This, they feel like magnets maybe? I don't know. It has some watercolor paper in here and then maybe some stickers. I'm not really sure. And then there's some black paper. I wonder if that's not necessarily for scratch art, but maybe for some of these with like the pastels and chalk. I'm not really sure, but that's what's in this box. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. It has so many projects. They really have great videos for it. And I'm sorry I don't have a code for you to use for this one, but I've really, really enjoyed it. And again, they send this. I kept it last month. I put it in a bag and put it in my closet because I will use it for my kids to do activities. So that's the Let's Make Art box. And it's just, it's lots of fun and I enjoy it. Okay, and the last boxes I have to show you are our KiwiCo boxes. I'm not actually unboxing them on this channel. So if you're waiting for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do unbox them in their own separate videos and so they'll be coming out soon. But I didn't know if you guys wanted to know ahead of time what they're gonna be. I know I get a lot of questions about what's this month's Tinker Crate or Doodle Crate or whatever. And I know not everyone gets the same things every single month. I think it depends on when you subscribe and different things like that. So I just wanted to show you what we got this month and to tell you a little bit about a few of them. 
especially if you want to look for Christmas gifts to give to people. I feel like some of these are really great options. So the first one I wanted to mention is the Maker Crate, and this month it's Loom Knitted Hats, which I'm really, really excited about. And the Maker Crate and the Eureka Crate are $30. They're a little bit more expensive. The other ones are about 20. They're like $19.95. Sorry, I'm rounding up. So these, this one is a little bit more expensive and so is the Eureka Crate, but they usually are a little bit bigger projects and just require a little bit more materials or you know, expensive materials and things like that. I think it's worth it, especially if you just don't wanna to go to the craft store or you don't know what kind of project you'd even like to do, this subscription is great. So this is for ages 14 to 104. So if you're 104 and doing this, then kudos to you. But I get it because I just think it's a lot of fun for me as a mom to have something to do, even if it's at the end of the day when my kids are in bed, just kind of decompress. And so I like getting it and I enjoy doing crafts. It's one of my, like if I wanna relax, one of my things I like to do is crafts. And so it gives me these variety of crafts, things that I have never tried, some things I have done before, and I'm able to just kind of experiment. I have all the supplies that come to me. And then if I actually like it, I can go get more supplies. Cause sometimes buying supplies when you wanna just try out a new craft can be really expensive. So I think this is a really great option. And this box is huge compared to the other ones. So just a warning on that. So that's what this one, is. that's what the Maker Crate is this month. I wanted to mention the Atlas Crate because honestly, if you got no other crate from KiwiCo, I feel like this is the one that would be worth it. This is the one that I would spend money on to go get is the Atlas Crate. So this month is on Columbia. So your first month, everybody's I believe is the same as far as I know because it's kind of like another geography subscription. I know like Road Trap, the, Road Trap, <laughs> not Road Trap, Road Trip the US also is a similar way. The first month they kind of send you a huge map. It's the intro to the United States. So this is the, they send you the intro to the earth and you get to make a little earth and kind of talk a little bit about world geography. And then after that, they start sending countries. And so this has been a lot of fun. We've had like Madagascar. I think we did the Netherlands. I'm trying to, we just did France. So all of those are on my channel if you wanna go check them out. But they usually include a lot of fun activities, some different crafts you can do together. Some you might have to use supplies from home and then some food you can cook, either something sweet or something savory. And we've had a lot of fun making most, we've made most of the things that they've sent us, not all of them, but most of them. And it's just been so much fun. I feel like it is a very thorough, good subscription to have. And if you are looking for a world geography curriculum, I feel like this would be really good. The only thing that would be a little hard is you don't get to pick what country you're talking about next. It'd be a little bit like you'd find out right before the end of the new month and then have to kind of plan as you went or get this and open it and plan for that month. So that would be the only thing you're not picking what country you're talking about and it's just one country per month, but you could go into great detail about it with your kids and really learn a lot about that country. So this one's $19.95, I think $20. And I have some different codes for KiwiCo. It's an affi affiliate link and I'll put it down below. So if you wanna use any of those and especially going into Black Friday pretty soon, they always have tons and tons of discounts and codes. Even if you wanna just try it for like one month, you can just get it for half price, sometimes more than half price for just the first box and just try it out and see if you like it. And if you don't, you can cancel it. So, so those are the two that I like the most. And then I get them for all my kids. Obviously you don't have to do this and it gets a little bit pricey and stuff like that. Uh, if you do longer subscriptions, it's cheaper and you can usually find codes to use that even make it cheaper than that. But I just wanted to show you some that we do. So the Tinker Crate is for my oldest. This is for nine to 14, he's eight, almost nine, but he's more advanced and likes to build stuff. This is more of an engineering type one. And the Eureka Crate is kind of the grown up version of that from like 14 to 104. And it's also engineering. Whereas the Maker Crate and the Doodle Crate, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, are similar as they're talking about crafts or that kind of stuff, more of that steam, the art type stuff, and this is more a STEM. So this one this month is paper circuits. 
So they're gonna build some different lanterns with some circuits in it. So this one looks like a lot of fun for him to do. And then the doodle crate, like I said, it usually has a lot of arts and crafts. And this one's spool knitted animals. So I was excited when I saw this because the maker crate is also a knitted thing with a loom, with the like those hat, hat looms you would make. And this one's making little animals. So I thought it was cool that they coordinated. <laughs> I don't know if they did that on purpose, probably not. And also the one, the maker crate is making hats and we're going into winter here. <laughs> so, and it gets really, really cold. So I thought that was well-timed. Again, probably not super planned, but it just happened to be good. And then the Kiwi crate this month is surface tension science. And these ones tend to have like three different activities or games that the kids can do. Whereas like the doodle crate and the tinker crate, it's usually just kind of one big project. So this one will have a few different activities and this is for my five-year-old, he's almost six, but this one is for ages five plus. And so he has a lot of fun with this. It's kind of a mix of the tinker and doodle crate. It has some arts and crafts and some building. So this is a lot of fun as well. Again, all good gifts for Christmas. I used to do that. I used to give my kids these for Christmas. I'd get the cells for super cheap. I'd wrap them up, put them under the Christmas tree. And it was a great, a great Christmas present. We all loved it. And then I subscribed and got them all the time. <laughs> and then this is the koala crate. So this is for ages three plus. So my daughter is three, she's almost four. And so this month is talking about music. We actually have had this one before, not for her. They're really good at not doing repeats if you have a subscription. But for my son, he had gotten this a few years ago. This is one I would have gotten him for Christmas. And this is the one that came was the music one. And he had a lot of fun doing that one as well. So those are the Kiwi crates we get. So I think the Eureka and then, I don't know if it's called the Tadpole crate. There's one of them that's for teeny, teeny, kids like baby age and those ones they always have you put in how old they are so they can kind of adapt the crate to the age of the child since so many development things are happening happening from like six months to three or four you know there's a lot of things going on there and so they try to adapt the crate to the specific age of those children i feel like it's a tadpole crate i can't remember exactly because i don't think we've ever gotten that one but they'll all be linked down below. They're on my blog. Every month I go through and we, my kids do these. I tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them and things like that. So you can check all of those out on my YouTube channel already. <laughs> and so they'll be coming up in the next several weeks and you can see all these ones if you want to. But if you like hearing every month what they're gonna be kind of at the beginning of the month, let me know, give me a thumbs up or comment below and tell me that you like hearing that and I can keep doing this. So those are the subscription boxes I have. I also get the decorated box, and so maybe next month I'll have that as well. I love decor type boxes, and I usually only get subscription boxes for about a year, unless I really love them. <laughs> if I really love them, I might still keep getting them, like the KiwiCo boxes. But other than that, I'll just try them out and then get not try something else out. I'll try something else out. Anyways, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, again, just give me a thumbs up so I know, comment down below, and I'm just excited to go into Christmas. These are all great Christmas ideas and gifts if you want to use them to give to your family or to send them since a lot of us can't spend too much time with family this year. So I love you all. Thank you for supporting my channel, and I'm excited to see you next time.